Um, oh, man. Do a single leg. Oh, okay. Uh, kind of a similar thing. And uh, basically, you come in and you just grab a, basically a leg. Come in. And there, you're on the inside. And then you can drive in or, or, or sweep the leg or something. Yeah, you can do a sweep the leg or just drive into them because they're going to be bouncing backwards and, and taking them sticking down. Okay, so what's so the defense against getting a leg caught like that and you're up in the air with Now, them? if you're there, you got my leg, he's off to the side here. You know, I'm going to be trying to work like this, get my arm in here and try to kick your leg out. And if not, if you fall back, you want to call, kick your leg, roll the side. You're just rolling your hips up. The whole time, you want to make sure that, like when I was coming down, you're rolling with it. Guys that stop and try to fight as they go down, they're stuck. They're on their back. He's got the controlling position. But it's the whole time, because he's got his momentum on you as well as coming with you. Just roll with it. That's all you got to do. If you can sink, like Charles, he's going to be difficult. He's got a short neck. <laughs> to sink a choke off the side like that. So I'm not going to be able to get a good choke in here, and I'm not going to be able to get my arm in here to really crank on it. So, I mean, you can do lots of different things. Run your elbow in the back, and obviously in a street fight, a good elbow to the head right there can make a difference as well. Um, one of the things that we have, fireman's carry, kind of same deal. Coming in, kind of the same principle as a hip throw, where you're using that hip, but you're coming in, yet you still have to pull that arm, reach up between his legs, so I just drop down, you know, throw those punches, stop in, you got your arm right there, and just roll it. Throw him right over your top of you. That's a long, you can also do a short version of that too, you don't have to go clear over. Yeah. You can just do a short one. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You can just basically kind of sit on your hip and throw. You don't have to go clear up and over. You can just sit on your hip and go over with it. Right. And, and that's kind of the counter of that as well. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you keep your, if you can pancake or what we call pancaking, which is just come down, put your weight on top of their chest, drop them down. But if he does get that. <coughs> Your arm is right there. His head is automatically going to go right underneath your arm. Lock that choke up. Probably I mean, MMA, you're not going to see the short break. Probably not going to see a fireman's carry very often. Yeah, I'd say very rare, but it's another tool in the arsenal if you want it. So if you guys want to practice that, and